Hey everyone, how's it going? Glad for the woods here. I'm in the parking lot at Canadian Tire slash LCBO slash Walmart slash everything. Um, just did a bunch of uh, shopping here. Okay, this is where you go out. Um, I got it. I needed a bunch of stuff and I got everything I needed. I'm happy. It was a little more expensive than what I wanted to spend, but that's life. Anyways, uh, so we've got all that done. I'm going to, uh, we're in Port Elgin. We, I am in Port Elgin. And like I said, they had everything I need. Um, now I need to get a couple of things from the grocery store and uh, we'll catch that just on the edge of town there's like a real Canadian food store or whatever they call them so um, the GPS had me take back street for the Canadian tire I, I don't understand why that was um, says it was two minutes faster than going up the main street it doesn't make any sense so sometimes that GPS isn't exactly uh, you know working the best I don't know I don't think it's because the area or anything like that just the way it is anyways I knew where the Canadian tire was signal on and then he turned it off. Oh, okay, I think I know what he did there. Okay. It's warm, 27 Celsius. Um, I picked up a small table for inside the uh, tent for the laptop when I'm watching TV it seems. I'm watching at night when I fall asleep in the tent and um, so I needed something for that. I needed a small walk-in carpet to get the sand onto the carpet, not into the, it's like sand carpet. But I also found on sale a nice outdoor carpet for the front, so the sand will all stay outside. And it's one of those ones that if rain does get on it, it'll, uh, it just, the water, you know, wicks away or whatever. Oh shit, I didn't think uh, he was gonna stop quite here, so. Anyway, uh, I picked up some tackle, some hooks, treble hooks to you know to change on, on my at least my main lures anyway. And um, I said the small propane container can canisters. I needed those. Um, I'm trying to remember what else. I got a tarp. I got a tarp because um, it's supposed to rain a lot Friday and Saturday. I don't know if it's going to be steady or what it's going to be. But um, I need it to cover the uh, the coffee maker and all that. Even though it's under the tarp, I'm still gonna like under the you know the the canopy. I'm still gonna cover it in the tarp just to be extra sure. So ah, restaurant in this old place called the Queens. We used to have a place in Carlton Place called the Queens. It was legendary. I wouldn't believe some of the stuff I saw there. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's gone. Or at least the version of it that I know is gone. There were two of them. We had the Mississippi Tavern, I guess what it was. And uh, I saw Stomp and Tom Connors there. Saw him at Queens. Two people say he didn't play at Queens. Yes, he did. I saw him there. And then McLean and McLean, which anybody under 60 won't even know who that was it was a comedy Canadian comedy team 
very, very risque, as, the, as we would say here in Canada. And, um, but they were hilarious. They, their routines might be somewhere. Uh, they're called McLean and McLean. M C C L E A N. Hey there, Mr. Uh, on your phone while you're driving your fucking electric mobile. He's holding it in his hand, eh? He's in such a hurry to get past me and wouldn't let me turn until he passed me. And then he's like, I passed him, looking at him, he's staring right at the phone. I'm like, what the fuck? God, people are stupid. Not that I'd ever say it's a good thing to, you know, when you're on a quiet roads like I was taking. I, I mean, I didn't, I don't hold mine, but like you're in a town, a tourist town with gazillions of people, kids, all the rest of it, and you're sitting there on a fucking phone. I just made like I was gonna sideswipe him. I wanna let him know that I think he's a fucking idiot. Probably didn't even notice he's got his nose stuck in the phone. Moonfire Cannabis. I was looking at this place. It's right next to a Starbucks. Isn't that perfect? There it is, Independent Grocer. I thought it was a real Canadian food store before, but I guess I'm wrong. You know what? Fuck that. There's a food land just at the corner where you turn left onto Highway 13. I was gonna go to the uh, First Nation weed place, but I'm gonna just not do that right now. My budget, I wanna keep a close eye on my budget. See, that's the part that's holding me back from going to get some pre-rolls or something. I have a couple more pre-rolls left. And, of course, I brought my own weed, but... Um, I still got to get gas for the boat. And for the ATV, I pay for the parts for the ATV and the labor. So, I've heard nothing yet from the from the bike shop in Owen Sound. I'm gonna check my messages while I'm out and about, just in case, you know, they don't ring through or something, doesn't show the messages at the campground. I've got good reception there, obviously, I'm uploading and everything, but I just wanna be a little extra careful. Uh, sorry, uh, I'm losing track of what I was saying there. I got so many things on my mind here. Um, Yeah, the pre-rolls. I don't want to spend money on that either. I was looking forward to getting... Because they, they, at the one place here, um, it's just past where we veer off onto 13 to go back to Sable Beach. It's, an, it's, a, pers it's a reserve... Um, it's a reserve... Um, um, weed place but they've got my Buddha boys uh, gummies which I've been searching high and low since I got them in Montreal and I know one place I know two places but I, I, I looked to see if there was anybody down here and they were like yeah well they weren't I mean I didn't talk to them but I'm just saying that like oh okay I know where they uh, were you know like as soon as you instead of turning left on the 13 you keep staying on 21 to the right, and uh, they're up there a little bit. But like I say, I want to hold on to money right now. I got two different kinds I want on the pre-rolls, but I can get those two in Sable Beach at Moon 
shining, I think they're called. They're, they're uh, native owned, but they're claiming to be like, um, you know, completely legal. I don't know why they would say that because the ones on the reserve are completely legal on the reserve. But it says native or First Nations owned on the Moonshine or Moonshire. Anyways, they got three places, one in Port Elgin, one in Sable Beach and Southampton. Like, oh no, Owen Sound and then Sable Beach. So I'll be definitely going in there, I just don't know when yet. I still gotta consider too, I've gotta drive, if I'm gonna drive back and spend, spend overnight trailer and then come back I have not decided four o'clock I was in there two hours at that Canadian tire this is Southampton it's got a really nice beach here if it wasn't so far I'd probably drive here to go on the beach just to be away from the crowds but I've got my end of things, and I'm no hurry to go swimming. And I'm going to go swimming. I'm looking forward to going swimming, but I'm not in like a hurry. Square Deal Neals TV and Appliances. Okay, Square Deal Neal. <laughs> Cheese for my I make a hamburger I think for lunch or late 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 uh, lunch early supper I don't know I gotta start using up that hamburger I hate running the air conditioning because then when I go back out it's like feels extra hot I'm already acclimated as best as I'm ever going to be to the heat but because I'm recording you guys I'm going to stop recording I'm not going to record from the I'm going to Foodland is where I'm going for groceries and uh, once I'm done there I'm going to put that off put the music back on and for some reason I've got the music sounding a thousand times better now in the truck and I'm not quite sure why I changed a setting on the Bluetooth and it makes the sound totally way better. I don't know what's up with that. But believe you me, I'm not complaining. The Lighthouse Restaurant. This is like the main street going down to the beach. Just be older folks here, right? Eh? Maybe this is where I should be coming. the noise and you get the best of both worlds weekdays is pretty quiet although this is the most people I've ever seen cannabis graybruce.ca recreational cannabis store cool Campsites in the, in the, um, I'm not supposed to be in this fucking lane, eh? I don't think. It's a passenger lane place. More than one person. Fucking stupid. Me. I've never seen that like that before. And like, usually that's like on a highway. Like, big highway. I want your boat here, but I don't know where I'd fish. I don't know how far up they go fishing up this Saugine River, Saugine River. I'll say it wrong. Saugine, not Saugine. Saugine. God, 
don't know why I want to pronounce that G with the good instead of the G because it's the G. Sajin. Quality in. I know a certain person that watched this, uh, she would be uh, more appreciative of that than tenting it. She called me a Boy Scout. My friend in DC. She said, yeah. Waiting for my Boy Scout to get a hold of me, she says, in a message. Boy Scout. Isn't that lovely? Okay, everyone. I'll talk to you out there.